In this probability question, we still need to make a probability distribution table. However, we're not given the probability of an individual event occurring. We're given some, instead some information about uh, how many speedometers are correctly calibrated. So seven speedometers are correctly calibrated. So I went ahead and typed in correct seven. Two that are not correct. So I got incorrect two here. Total seven plus two, I could go with some, but these numbers are easy enough. I could have just typed that in. So there's the total number. So first one is the probability. Now, how many, we're getting three speedometers randomly selected without replacement. So X is the number of not correctly calibrated. So yours may say correctly calibrated. Mine says X is the number of not correctly. So in, for me, it would be incorrect. So zero, I have zero incorrect, which means I have all three correct. So I'm gonna go probability CCC, correct, correct, correct. All right, this probability, the first speedometer I pull has a seven out of nine chance of being correct because there's seven correct, nine total. Now I have to pull first, second, and third. So these, this is gonna be an and, so I multiply. Now my second speedometer I pull out, there's six speedometers and eight total because there's one less correct one, one less total. The third speedometer I pull, there's five correct, seven total. So again, they each decrease by one as I go across. So I'll put that back up. Now I'm gonna type that into our table and hit enter. Four decimal places, I'm gonna need a few here. Four decimal places, okay, 0.4167. Submit. All right, so that first one's correct. Next up, I want one incorrect. So here's where things get a little tricky. So I could do CCI, that's correct, correct, incorrect, but that's not the only way to pull one incorrect. I could, so this will be or, CIC, correct, incorrect, correct, or, ICC. There's three different ways this can occur. And because we're using the word or, that means we're going to add these three probabilities together. So first one's going to look kind of like what we did before. So I'm going to start out, I'm double clicking to get in here. I'm going to copy this. Control C. Oops. So hit escape if the cursor did some weird stuff. Double click. Control V to paste. Now I'm supposed to go correct, correct, incorrect. So last one, first two, correct, correct, those are fine. The last one's incorrect, so there's two out of seven. So this is correct, correct, incorrect. Now if I just hit enter here, that's not the value that we are looking for. Oops. I'll get that one wrong, but that's okay. So again, all I did was CCI. Now the or means plus CIC. So it starts off the same, seven correct, nine total, times two incorrect, eight total, times, now I want a correct again, so seven correct, uh, that doesn't seem right. Ah, that's, we don't have seven correct. We have six correct because I pulled the correct one. Okay. So that is CIC. Now we're going to go for ICC. So it's incorrect first, two out of nine total times seven correct, 
eight total. Again, your total decreases by one each time. And then six correct, because I pulled one correct, one less in the total. There we go. That's a long computation right there. Well, look at that. Okay, 0.5. Now, there's a second way to get this. These three products are all that same value. I could have done the first one and did times three. Maybe I'll do an extra parentheses so my division multiplication doesn't get messed up here. So again, I could do times three, but I would I'm going to leave it with this big one right here. Uh, we're going to need to do something very similar down here. So last one, probability. Uh, two of them are incorrect. So that's CII or C, uh, ICI or IIC. Okay, um, I'm gonna grab this whole thing right here. Copy, oops, hit escape, paste. So what changed? I started out correct, but then I immediately went incorrect. So that's two, incorrect again is one. Now on the second one, I went incorrect first, so that's two out of nine. Notice my denominators won't change here, just my numerators. So I went incorrect, then correct, which is seven, and then incorrect again, which went from two to one, because again, they're both, they're pulling two incorrects. All right, last one, two incorrects, so it's two out of nine already, that's good. There's one incorrect out of eight total, and then Notice here, uh, there's seven correct and seven total. So actually on this point, I'm guaranteed to pull a correct because I've already pulled out the two incorrects. So no matter what, if I pull out two bad ones, there's no bad ones left, so you're gonna get a good one. All right, point eight, uh, zero, eight, three, three. Submit. Okay, last up, probability of three incorrects, that's I, I, I. There's only one possibility, because uh, they're all the same. Just like the first, there's only gonna be one computation we need to make. We could copy the first one. Now, of course, we have to change, this is incorrect, so there's two out of nine incorrects. One out of eight incorrects. There's only two incorrect total. Now the third one, how many incorrects? There's zero here. Zero incorrects out of seven. Now, whenever you multiply by zero, your product is going to be zero. So don't be surprised when I hit enter. Zero. Okay, we have our chart filled up. This is x, p of x. I'm labeling this because we need to find the mean right here. So we're gonna do x times p of x. Uh, now notice, uh, I, I'm gonna insert, hit escape. I'm gonna insert another column here. Zero, one, two, three. Uh, I my x really needs to be zero, one, two, or three, just like that. So here, when I do x times p of x, it's going to be the x value times p of x. So again, the this b column, that's not a number. I can't multiply that by p of x. So I need the number, which is the x off the table here. So from this. Duplicate it down. And remember, you just sum up all of these products. All right, 
did say round with the same uh, four decimal places, so 0.6667. Okay. Now, not all these you need to round. Some of them uh, you could be more precise, and that's fine. So again, I thought it was the most difficult to compute these P of X values. Once you have that, the mean is the same as calculating the mean on any question.